Good morning, everyone. And this is Gail with Traders Help Desk. And I just wanted to show you a trade that's set up on the USDJPY, which I talked about last night in the Forex breakdown at about 7 o'clock. So basically, I thought um, the USDJPY would come down, and then if it finds support, it may go back up. I posted uh, or I embedded the video below and it will start where I start the analysis of the USDJPY. But what I wanted to show you is, you know, how you could have traded this. Unfortunately, I did not trade it. Um, I had been working in the garden all, morning, all, all day, so I was tired and went to bed. But this is just how precise these indicators can be. Number one, you can see here that you were making divergence. And I pointed that out in the video because you're making higher highs and yet the stochastics is making lower highs. Okay, so this told me that more than likely it was going to go down. Now that was on this, um, actually I think it was the green bar because it uh, might have been the red bar. Okay, so when you come down, you can see that it tested the moving averages right here and they actually supported price. Then if you went down to the 15 minute, you had two potential entries. You had one here and the other one was here. This was your pivot high formation, which is what I look for in a downtrend. Okay, but you also can see that this bar went higher than this bar. And you can see on the stochastics that it was like a double top formation. So they put just as much effort into this one as they did for this one. And then what happens? It goes down. Okay. That was a great entry into this downtrend. You could have traded it with binary options. You could have traded it with a call spread. Um, if you wanted to, you could have even used a touch bracket. Um, that was uh, about a 40 pip move. So you could have traded it using one of those methods or all of those methods. Okay. It was just a really great trade setup. And again, this is exactly what we look at when all three time frames are actually showing are confirming a potential move. And remember, this was identified using the higher time frames. Okay. Now I'm waiting to see if this area supports price. If it supports price, then we could go up. But if this is where you're going to pull in the higher time frame, if this area supports price, then it's going to go up and potentially take out this ATR area, okay? But again, I think it's got some uh, a little bit of more downward movement because you're still overextended on the daily. That's where I'm anticipating it to come down and touch um, either the ATR at 110.73 or even the moving average at 111.11. But again, pulling in these higher time frames is what actually identified that this trade was coming in.